Hey guys, Sean Little with Verif Trail Tactical. I wanted to talk to you today about uh, and do a little update on talking about PDAs and uh, ballistic apps and how to set up your weather and elevation settings. There's three different ways to get your information. One would be from like a handheld device like Kestrel. So I've got a Kestrel today. I'm going to use a Kestrel. And then uh, one of the other things you can use is a watch. Uh, Casio makes a couple different watches that have barometric pressure, temperature, and and humidity and things like that. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go on and we're going to plug in the information onto my Knight's Ornament Bullet f Flight. We'll plug in the information off the Kestrel and we'll see what we get for elevation. Right now I've got uh, 800 yard shot at 81 degrees, 2910 for pressure, uh, zero altitude, and 20% humidity. So We'll look at uh, what the Kestrel has. So Kestrel has 67 degrees. So we'll plug that in here real quick. Okay, 67 degrees. All right. On the Kestrel, we'll scroll down, and we'll get our um, barometric pressure 29.83. All right, so we'll just go 29.8. Okay, so we'll come on to here and we'll do 29.8, 29.80. All right. Okay, whenever you put in your um, barometric pressure, this is a direct absolute pressure from a handheld device at altitude to zero because the additional altitude compensation is not required. And basically what it's saying is that whenever you use, whenever you use the Kestrel and you're going in here, and you're using this is that it is taking the pressure of where you're standing it doesn't this thing doesn't know that it's um, standing at a certain altitude so it takes the actual barometric pressure or direct pressure off the off the meter so you don't have to compensate for elevation because this is already this is this doesn't have to worry about it right you don't have to worry about elevation so we're gonna hit OK we're going to go in here and make sure that our altitude is set at zero, okay? So, and then we'll go into uh, humidity. So, I'll find humidity on here. Oops. Right past it somewhere. Oh, there it is. Humidity, 30, 38% humidity. So, we'll do 38% humidity. Go in here, 38% humidity. All right. So, well, I put in 39% humidity, but it really doesn't matter, okay? So 67 degrees, 29.80, set our altitude to zero, and then we have 39% humidity, okay? And we got elevation of 7.4, all right? So this number right here is what we're looking at, all right? That's our elevation, 7.4, okay? So... The next way of doing this is to go into your local weather station. So whenever I went into my local weather station, um, local weather station gave me a barometric pressure of 30.00. Uh, you can get this off of your news. You can get it off of uh, you know Yahoo Weather, Weather Underground, any of these other um, places. Okay, so whenever I go in and use just standard weather, oops. Standard weather, I have to put in the elevation of where I'm at. Okay, so the elevation of where I'm at is 330 feet above ele above uh, sea level. And then we had a, a um, the local weather gave 40% uh, humidity. Okay, so 67 degrees, 30.00 pressure. Had to change my altitude to 330 feet. Then I get a relative humidity of 40%. Now, if you notice, the number below down here hasn't changed. That number hasn't changed. 7.4. Okay. So the other way of doing this is to get density altitude. Okay. So whenever we're going to go and use density altitude, a lot of a lot of arguments about whether one way is more accurate than than another. Okay. So what happens when we use density altitude? So we're just going to use standard temperature. Okay. The standard temperature is 59 degrees, okay? We're also going to put in standard barometric pressure. Now, you can see it already highlights 
It says 29.92, so that's what we're going to use. 29.92. Okay. And the same thing. I'm going to put in 50, oops. I'm going to put in 50% humidity. Okay. And then what we want to do is we want to go into our Kestrel and we're going to find density altitude. We have altitude, which gives us 75%, but we want density altitude. Density altitude is giving us approximately 800 feet. Okay, so I'm going to go into here, and my density altitude is going to get plugged in right here, so 800 feet. Okay, so I've gone in, I've changed it, still at 800 yards, 59 degrees, 29.92, which are both standard pressures, changed my humidity to 50%, which is pretty st standard, and then I changed my altitude, I put in density altitude, I put in 800 feet above sea level, okay, or density altitude of 800 feet, right? Now, density altitude takes in the combination of your regular altitude of 330 feet above sea level and station pressure and kind of combines them, right? And it gives you your density altitude of 800 feet. Now, look, this number still is not changed okay has not changed still 7.4 mils so the point of this video is to show you that that if you input the information correctly you're gonna get a correct result okay you can put it in three different ways the three different ways are off a handheld device right your local weather or you can just put in straight density altitude right so there's a lot of arguments out there of whether um, one way is better than another. Now the density altitude obviously is fairly simple, okay, because we don't have to worry about whether I got my temperature and my pressure and all the other stuff and I don't have to fill in three different fields and just go to a Kestrel, uh, Kestrel device and put in my density altitude of 800 feet, okay, and get the, get the correct result. So not that it's more accurate, it's probably just easier. I think uh, and there's just kind of that misconception that uh, you, if you don't put it in one single way that it's not going to work. Well, I just pretty much proved using a, a, a ballistics app, just pretty much proved that, uh, you know, you can, you can use whatever you have to your advantage. If you don't have one single thing, um, you can use other resources to get the information and input it correctly and that you're going to get a good result. So... Uh, any questions on this, just email me at seanlittle at vaportrailtactical.net. Thanks.